For more information, visit our website and blog www.mathswithnasir.com and www.mathswithnasirblogspot.com. Thank you. To solve, think and discuss page number 279, chapter 11, trigonometry. E sin a by cos a is equal to n a. To prove this one, we have to take right angle triangle A, B, C in which angle B is 90 degrees. B, C is the opposite side to the angle A and A, B is the adjacent side to the angle A. And AC is the longest side, so it is a hypotenuse. We already know that sin A is defined as the ratio of opposite side to angle A hypotenuse and cos A is defined as the ratio between the adjacent side to A hypotenuse. Now we take LHS that is sin A by cos A. We substitute the sin A and cos A values. Then it can be written as opposite side to angle A by hypotenuse divided by adjacent side to angle A by hypotenuse. Here we cancel hypotenuse, hypotenuse, then we can write it as opposite side to angle A by adjacent side to angle A. We already know that the definition of tan A to angle A by adjacent side to angle A. Therefore, we can write it as tan A. Therefore, sin A by cos A is equal to tan A. Discuss page number 279 is cos A by sin A is equal to cot A. To prove this one, let us consider a right angle triangle ABC which is right angle at B. Its opposite side AC is the longest side, so AC is the hypotenuse. And with respect to the angle A, BC is the opposite side and AB is adjacent side with respect to A. So we already know the definition of cos A as the ratio of adjacent side to the angle A by hypotenuse and sin A is defined as the ratio of opposite side to angle A by hypotenuse. Now consider LHS is equal to cos A by sin A. Now we substitute these values then write it as adjacent side to angle A by hypotenuse divided by opposite side to angle A by hypotenuse. Here hypotenuse we can cancel then we get adjacent side to angle A by opposite side to angle A. This is nothing but the definition of cot A. Therefore, cos A by sin A is written as cot A. Please like, share, subscribe our channel for latest updates by pressing the bell icon. For more information, visit our website and blog www.mathswithnasir.com and www.mathswithnasirblogspot.com. Thank you.